don't forget to like and subscribe. Find Fergus by Mike Bolt. A Lion Must Roar by Edward Spoonface Powell. This is day four of the book challenge. Did they take what you were given? Wait, not again! Every now and then, a lion must roar. It can be small, it can be loud, heard in a crowd. It can be soft like a cloud, whispered from your mouth. Mel melodies that wrap you safe like a towel. Then breathe. Day five, y'all. Yo, don't say my count in this video because I just wanted to do it different. Don't judge me. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Look, it's still it's still five. One, two, three, four, five. Tiny T Rex and the Impossible Hug by Jonathan Stutzman. Illustrated by Jay Flick. Hello, Pointy. Are you okay? Today, no, today I feel sad. I do not want to play. Alright. I have tiny arm. Tiny arm. squeeze cucumber juice that is disgusting <laughs> now i'm falling <laughs> for his repeat the cat classic repeat the cat and his four goofy buttons created and illustrated by james dean story by eric litwin one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. I know this looks like um like a nine, but it's a seven. One is Otis and the Kittens. How y'all doing today? Hope y'all good. It was hot and dry on the farm where the friendly little tractor named Otis lived. Otis could have remembered the last time it had rained. One afternoon, when everyone was up under the shade of the apple tree, Otis, uh, Otis spotted something moving down, down in the field. Where did she come from? Otis wondered. He watched as she ran toward the old barn. And there she, he saw something that caused his engine to sputter. A swirl of smoke! Then Fire Chief Douglas and his men hosed off Otis and wiped down his frame. The cool water re revived Otis and everyone cheered when they heard a faint put, puff, puttity, Chuff. Fire Chief Douglas laughed and said, Farmer, what do you say we adopt these kittens and their mama? They can make a mighty fine addition to the to our firehouse family. Otis puffed a happy chuff. He couldn't think of a better home for his new friends. That was a good book. That was a good book. What was your favorite part? He's my co-star. And today we are going to be reading Arthur and the New Kid. Are you nice to the new kid? <laughs> Arthur's class was writing about their summer vacation. Norbert, Norbert took a seat. 
in the bag and you're no one. He think he thinks he's too good for us, whispered Francine. Yeah, said Buster. Look at his jacket. Look, said Muffy. Here comes Norbert, the nerd. Hmm. He's stuck up, said Francine. Maybe he's just shy, said Arthur. I bet he's rich, said Francine. He doesn't bring his lunch. He buys two slices of pizza, a milkshake, and a lemon cake. Ooh, I love lemon cake. I love lemon cake. It's, it's very good and sweet. He's too cool for this school. Y'all think that rhymes? Cool school. Yeah. Here's a problem, said said Mr. Redburn. If a of it, Mama, you're making too much noise in there. I'm trying to read to my friends. After school, after school, Arthur and Buster asked Norbert to go to Arthur's house. Okay, said Norbert, and he pulled off his tie. I had to wear this tie and my jacket at my last school. My mother made me wear it today, but I won't wear it again, he said. High five, said Arthur. The end. Arthur, were you nice? Yeah. Yeah. You were pretty nice in this book. I'm proud of you and thank you for joining us today. Make sure to like and subscribe.